Okay, okay, everybody. Hello, hello. Monkey Puzzle here. And we are going to stream some more Atlas. Look at the little me there dwarfed by this big old building. What's up, ladybugs? I can always count on you. Welcome, welcome. So today, um, I'm going to keep myself from playing more Satisfactory because I've got this Satisfactory bug. What's up, Isaiah? How you doing? And I'm going to try to finish this project that has I, we've been working on for, I don't even know how long it's been now, a couple weeks, a month, <laughs> over here in Atlas on our unofficial private server, the Iron Geeks. And I'm good. I'm good. Whenever I get to this point in my day where I'm sitting and playing games, that means I'm doing great. So I'm going to see if we can finish this, this today. Um, I hope, I think we might be in the position to do so. Um, we shall see. Um, but I thought at least, at the very least, I'd hang out with you guys. I'm trying to get this, get this done so that I can move on to the rest of the game. <laughs> I get myself into a little building project and... You know, that's all I do for a while. Then I'm just a home buddy. Um, but uh, we got some stuff coming up here pretty soon. We are going to have a ship battle this weekend on Sunday. Crackers is instigating everybody to try to sink everybody else's ships. We're going to have a little competition, and we're going to wage some gold on it, too. So everyone puts in 500 gold, and you go out with a schooner uh, prepared for battle. There are some rules on what you can and can't do um and so i gotta get ready for that i gotta either get the, my existing schooner ready for it or else i gotta make another one for that and uh i haven't been on the water in a boat in this game for a while <laughs> it's been here doing this thank you isaiah um yeah it's it's coming along and it's not quite done uh but it's pretty much there uh today we are going to let me just finish this last little tower here and then there's a tower that goes up in the middle here that's going to be taller than all the rest of these so we'll see how that goes we might have to do a little grinding i've tried to do most of the grinding off camera um, but there has been a lot of it with our faithful beasts here so and this is all designed for pvp it's lots of airlocks like this and um, everything is like double or triple or quadruple thick. So it can take a beating. Here is our inner sanctum right here. Um, number of layers to get into. It is protected by several airlocks on the way out. And going out again. Um, and each one of these walls is basically three walls thick. You got to get through to get through the outside wall. So, man, I'm used to building in PvE, and that in itself, what is up, sick? Hey, Tasher, what's going on? Um, yeah, I'm used to building in PvE, and that is a lot of work, but this, I felt like I've built like four bases <laughs> with the amount of materials that have gone into this, and then their uh, wild card, grape shots, twisted idea of making metal required for stone so every single one of these pieces has 15 metal in them um so that has been ridiculous i've harvested so much metal that should have been turned into guns and swords and instead it's in my stone walls which i guess there's rebar in there or something like that but what is up so yeah let's see what we can do i just logged in i've been working all day let me get a little food on me real quick so i don't starve to death while we're doing this Oh, yeah. Wrong game. Okay. Every time I switch games, my muscle memory gets all messed up. So, yeah, I've been playing a little Satisfactory um, and really enjoying that as well. It turns out that's a very good game. And I've, I'm getting the bug. I'm getting the bug on it. Yeah, you would. That's you could justify it like that. <laughs> you could justify it like that. Wait, where I want to get in here. I need some fish. I guess I don't have any fish. Uh, we should go out there real quick and see if there's some dead manta rays, so I can keep my vitamins all up while I'm doing this. Doop, 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 doop. All right, let's go take a peek. 
what's going on out here we'll go out the um into the courtyard probably with pvp bases you're shutting closing doors all the time so yeah i just got to finish that one tower there and then make the one up the middle oh and looks like i've got a uh, missing wall piece there i still have to finish back here this whole pen needs to be this thick but you can from excuse me <laughs> from this here you can see the basic structure of the walls they're triangles and so you get one two three layers to, to be able to get through it and i still gotta thicken it up back here in the pen i have built these walls up that one is particularly high because there's a rock back there and i don't want people to snipe us from back there so that one's a little higher than the rest um, but the main structure of it's come together for sure hey sir garwin what's up i told you i was going to do this yesterday but my voice oh god woof uh my voice was messed up uh 20. it's not too good um i sounded like i was going through puberty it was like all cracking and stuff like that going between being deep, deep and going Bleh! i don't know what was wrong with me so i waited till today instead just had a satisfactory very satisfactory satisfactory session by myself by myself just me just looking for i never usually even have to kill to get fish meat there's usually a dead manta out here somewhere they just like to wash up and kill themselves let's see if we can see one or you know i might just have to be vitamin d deficient we don't have any cows or anything. But I've been doing pretty good. Keeping my hunger up. Well, I appreciate that. Let's see if we can kill one of these guys. It's a pickaxe. <laughs> Not the most efficient way to do it. Some tuna. Come here, tuna. Chicken of the sea. Be my dinner. A tough tuna. I almost had you dead. And if I'm lucky, I'm, I'll, I'll attract some mantas over here. I know I'm not properly equipped for the fishing here. There we go. We got some dinner. All right, there we go. Now let's just go cook that up. Cosmic flare, what's going on? Thank you. Yeah, we just got to get that last bit on it today. I left one of these uh, five towers to do with you all. And then we're going to get that middle tower up. And then we'll call it done. I still, you know, have to finish some details on the on thickening the pen walls. I've got that pretty much together. That's so that you can't climbing pick over it. I just got to extend it out a little bit around the gate. Um, you can't climb on the gate itself, but you can climb on the gateways. So I was kind of working with the um, the roofs just to try to seal that off so that if you climb up that way, you still can't get up and over. So working on that. This is fun here. I like these. Boing. Which is particularly convenient because all these gates are doubled up. So closing them both can be a little tricky. Crackers! What's up? Hey, Jay Spooky. What's going on? I just started the, uh, you missed it in the beginning, Crackers. I was telling everybody about the challenge coming up on Sunday. So I'm trying to be disciplined and get on here and finish my castle so that uh, I can turn my attention to uh, sinking all y'all ships. <laughs> yeah, but Crackers is instigating the fight. Fight, fight, fight. Turn the lights on. Are you on? Yeah, you're just not very bright. And let's cook up our fish. And we'll be ready to go. I can try and I can succeed. <laughs> yes, I can. 
Although I have a disadvantage that it's just going to be me. Uh, Orali and Fox can't make it. At least I know Orali can't. Fox hasn't responded. Fox, I don't think, has been on here for a while. So this company's mainly been Orali and I. We don't even mention that guy. What's his name? Uh, something like UTC or something like that. I don't know who that guy is. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to do it solo, which means i got to do all the repairing and the navigating and the uh, the firing of weapons all myself. And if I board you guys, i got to leave my ship alone. I won't be alone and being alone. Oh, good. Oh, good. Hey, what's up, Jim Penguin? What's going on, Water Boyd? Yeah. So, I'll give it my best. You know, whatever. However it goes. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. You know, I don't mind collecting all that money and stuff. It'll work out. Okay. <laughs> I need some gold, too. Uh, all our... I have to go kind of start from scratch. I got a, I have a schooner I could use, but the um, all our NPCs died. Uh, Raleigh and I have been coming on a little bit. I've been on a couple times, two, three times a week just working on this. Uh, some days I'll come on and just harvest resources. And, um, you know, I was trying to keep those guys fed, but we're like, I guess we had a spell where we're like we were one week away and our crew just died. <laughs> it's a sad thing. Oh, you're not done. So yeah, I gotta go get some NPCs from scratch to sail a ship with. Oh yeah, it'll be fun. It's just time for some adventure. I've been here like being the architect constructor and there's all these other things in the game I haven't even messed with. <laughs> uh, what's his face? Uh, Thorn came through here the other day with a creature I didn't even know was in the game. Um, I guess I remember it now from the, the trailer but it looks like a big U Tyrannosaurus, and he came over here stomping and roaring around. Um, and uh, yeah, I had forgotten those were even in the game. There's all kinds of other things we can do. So we got to get to that. Let's see what else are you guys saying over here in the chat, Rooney. Go ahead and prepare to make a replacement ship just in case. <laughs> You know, we got to talk some smack. That's a big part of it. Definitely got to talk some smack. Uh, so, let's see. You're able to get two wins in Apex Legends today, says Cosmic Flare. Okay. Yeah, I, I've never even played that. In fact, I couldn't even describe the game. But I uh, hope you had a good good time with that. A lot of fun. Yes, the NPCs are very high maintenance. They are. Yeah, and we even have them fed and money and everything, but they're expensive, man. They are. You gotta. Part of just doing all this is I haven't been able to do the things that it would take in order to um, take care of them, which is basically. Uh, so what do I need here? I think I'm gonna need some of these. And did I even leave myself with any parts here? No, I used them all up. Okay, let's make some walls while I'm gibber-gabbing. And then uh, we're also going to need some roofs. What I'm running short of here. I hope I got enough stuff for all this. It's been nothing but harvesting. We might have to chat a bit while I do some harvesting as well. But I think I got a bunch of stuff in here. It goes quick, man. It goes quick. See, I wonder what the thing is going to run. Oh, it's going to be the stone. I got this full of wood. You gotta take a nap, Isaiah. Right on. Have a good one. Take a snooze for me. You can hear those snores in the background uh, to uh, inspire you. Raleigh over here. It's over there snoring. We've been missing each other, and so every time I come on, he's just up there snoozing away. Snore, snore, snore. You've been having crew starving and mutiny too, Jay? Yeah. You had 300 plus? What? Are <laughs> you crazy? That's a lot. Oh my god, that's a full-time job just taking care of those. What are the big, biggest differences between Atlas and Ark? Asked Jin. Um, well, uh, the biggest differences, I'd say, is it's not as 
tame based. I mean, there's a bunch of creatures in here, and you can tame them and stuff. Um, but they're all pretty nerfed. It's more around um, the ships and the nautical stuff, which is pretty fun. I think they actually did a pretty good job with those mechanics too. Um, and it's kind of like uh, kind of like Primitive Plus, where there are not high levels of technology. Like they keep threatening to introduce this little steampunk submarine, which would like be an anachronism in here because there's you know you're basically in the medieval times here and i dig that a lot too um and uh they've nerfed the player some too um and they tried to make it more fun for pvp um trying to fix some of the mistakes that were made in uh arc around that um and they revamped the building system a bit too the building system's a bit simpler but also has a lot of like tlcs in it that um, the simple part is that there aren't multiple snap points for, you know, like little hair degrees of difference in things. Um, and they included triangles and you can do stuff like this, which is very cool. This little vaulted ceiling. Um, but uh, yeah, and rather than like one big island, uh, there's lots of little islands and lots of water in between and lots of sailing. Um, which, like I said, they did that part pretty well. We will get to that, not today, but soon. Soon, TM. And then I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna need some... I'm gonna need some roof pieces. Let's throw some stone in here and get some roofs making. Um, on the, the official, the big difference is that it is a huge grid of connected servers. It's like a 15 by 15 grid. So what's that, like 225 servers. So it's a massive world. They're trying to be an MMO. Um, that part is pretty good. I really, it's part of one of the reasons I miss playing official, <coughs> excuse me, is having a map that big. I mean, I made the smallest dent on that map. It was pretty hard to explore it all though, because uh, people were trying to kill you all the time. <laughs> So that was new. It's the first time I ever played like serious PvP. So, um, but I just couldn't keep up with the time commitment. I had some time off in uh, December and January and I blew it all on Atlas. <laughs> I did. <laughs> oh, you know what? Before we do this, just for you guys, let me go um, repair my lamp. And, oh, and did I get those things? No, I threw the stone in here, but I didn't do it. Multitasking and failing already. Official EU PV server is going offline today. Someone unclaimed his NPC and they died shortly after. Huh, I didn't know they went offline. I haven't kept up with the news for a little bit today. Um, I was just thinking why Atlas... Don't make doesn't make it easier for you to fish like giving you design. Yeah, they still have the same old stupid arc fishing system um, So it's, they should definitely improve that <laughs> You're gonna try not to fall into the two ball traps today, you know, it, it may happen It hasn't happened that much, but while I'm streaming it's of course. It's almost guaranteed to happen Man you have four galleons and probably about seven brigs and a few schooners. Well, you've been playing You've been playing the game right. Me, I've just been building this damn thing. They learned some. They're still working on it. They're about to wipe all the official ones and try again with another iteration. Um, trying to make some improvements on it. Orali, what is up? Yeah, soon. Almost time to get back on the seas. I'm trying to finish this thing today, man. We'll see how far I get. But that's my goal. Is, uh... Trying to get this thing done. Okay, did I get this back? No, let's get that on me so that I can have some light for you guys. And then let's throw a little bit more stone in here and let's get the things going. I was watching the Raleigh streaming yesterday. The other reason I didn't stream yesterday is I was going to, but the Raleigh was streaming Division. And I didn't want to steal all his viewers from him. Um, but also I was enjoying watching that. It's a game kind of game I don't normally play. I, you know, I don't do much kind of modern warfare stuff but it was definitely fun uh hanging out vicariously with him and fox while they played that one indeed i 
They fixed some things, but they definitely need to make plenty of new mistakes to fill the quota. <laughs> exactly, Jay. <laughs> exactly. You know, I'm generally not either, um, Jin, but it was fun as... Because I've done so much PvE stuff in this game. Did I get these going again? I'm just like, okay. I, let me focus for a second here. Roof. Make them all. I think. Actually, you know what? That's wrong. I actually don't need any more roofs. I forgot. I'm done with roofs. Well, except for a little bit around the gates. Um, I need lots of walls is what I need. Walls and roofs. Let's make more walls. Okay, because we got to take that tower up in the middle. Oh, yeah. We're going to need ceilings. Oh, actually, we do need roofs because I'm going to need ramps. Right. Okay, so... Here, let's... Let's make some, let's make some roofs. We'll make like 25 for now. And then we'll make uh, some more walls. And then I'm gonna have to make lots more stuff. I should have been prepared and done this ahead of time, but I've made parts ahead of time so many times. <laughs> and last time I was trying to finish this, I got too tired and just had to sign off and go to bed. So Raleigh says, this will be twice this week MP gets to be my lullaby as I turn in. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, working the AM again. Yes, Raleigh and I have been working fools lately. We both are having very busy times right now. So I hope I'm a decent lullaby. Um, hopefully that's not a gentle way of saying I'm boring. <laughs> yeah, the soothing, sultry tones. Of monkey puzzle. Shh. I was just showing everybody you sleeping over there. EU PvP is is where the public test realm is going to be hosted before the big wipe. Oh. Ah. Cracker says, I wish I wasn't so scared to sail when we played on official. Felt so intimidating with all the meanies. That's okay. We're we're happy for you to be out of practice. <laughs> I got to sneeze real quick, guys. I'm going to mute you for a second or mute myself. <laughs> In the meantime, my guy's blacking out. This is why I went and got some food. I should probably just kill myself. Um, but let's see if we can get back up there. So, let me see. I usually... Take like two doses of meats, which equals about 12 or 13, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 of the fruits and vegetables, and see if we can keep it balanced. You are welcome, Arali. Make it a nice sweet home for the both of us and for Fox and UTC if they decide to ever log on again. Hope they do. Boink, boink, boink. Let's get these down here. Oh, Raleigh, I made us some of these. He's not that great, and um, I had to upgrade them several times. Well, this one I did. We went from like 115 to 122 with all the upgrades, but I've been using these for metal. They're in the cabinet. Um, the other ones are still at 115. I got one off of uh, Crackers, actually, that's like 167-something. I was one of my late-night sessions, like wee hours in the morning. I was about to log off, and I hear this clink, and Crackers comes climbing up here and takes a shot at me, so I had to kill her. Uh, <laughs> and she's like, what? That's how you treat your guests? Um, and yeah, she had a nice pickaxe on her, but apparently I'm not skilled enough to use it. So yeah, we're going to fill this one in, and you get to see how beefy these towers are. I thought about skimping on the way up and going for just the one thick walls, but I'm like, nah. You got the whole thing strong and sturdy. Might as well. Might as well finish it in case some stray cannonball makes it all the way up here. Nice formidable castle. Are oh, you playing some division with Fox today? Excellent. Yeah, it's fun to stream sometimes, and then it's fun to play not streaming sometimes. I definitely like both of them i had a big uh, satisfactory session yesterday um I played for a long time just by myself and i tried not to unlock too much stuff or whatever but you know i just had to 
learn a few things so that I can know what I'm doing next time I stream. For sure. <laughs> Sneezes and his character goes blind, right? <laughs> yes, we killed Crackers. She was our first invader. When I was building this thing, you know, building the height, setting the height of uh, that part right there, I tried to make it high enough to grapple, but then uh, somebody watching was like, well, Crackers will make it up. Because when I made those mortar towers over an official, I thought I had made them high enough, and then she made it up those, of course. And guess what? Crackers comes grappling up. <laughs> she made it. It took her all of a grapple, though. One more uh, fail, and the grapple would have broke. But she was just a little bit of life on her grapple left. Uh, she made it up. And I know that because I got to see the grapple after I took it off her dead body. <laughs> yes, you'll have to steal it back <laughs> one day. Did I do a long live the king moment? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Devs made black jaffs to craft and club BPs, which is a mismatch. So can't make them. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, so what do I need? I need some more ceilings. And then, oh, actually, you know what? I should have put the... I might have messed myself up. I should have put these on first. Because, yeah, now they're going to... Well, I guess I can just queue them all. When you just put them on the roof sticking out, they always go with the ornamentation of the outside. For some reason, it thinks that's out. And that's, I swapped them on this top layer because I wanted to have some ornamentation on the outside. So we're putting these walls on, excuse me, backwards. I'm drinking some coffee and I got the coffee burps. You weren't seeing any comments except yours. On here? Or referring to something else? Okay. So we need some more, a bunch more ceilings. And we need a modest amount more walls. Um, but we're going to need a lot for that top one. Oh, and I actually messed up. I messed up. Uh, I lost where the way down was. We'll just, we'll do it from inside so I get it right. Oop. This thing's easier when it uh, opens up. Oh, there we go. All the airlocks. You'd have to work really hard to break into here. You know, it's that thing with, like, burglars. You can never really stop it, but you just got to make it super inconvenient. So what are we missing in here? We need more stone again. So let me put that back in so I can grab more stuff. And I'm going to hit rock bottom with materials here again, but that's fine. I'm a harvesting fool. I've got it down to this this monotonous pattern here, but I've gotten through lots of podcasts and audiobooks and stuff while I harvest here. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, so let's get these back on here and let's see. We're going to need some more ceilings. And now what's missing? What's my little eye went away. Okay. Metal. Good old metal is missing. Okay. Uh let's take let's take a little, little bit of make a little room in here. I don't need gems in there right now. And let's get some metal. I did a little metal harvesting before I logged off last time, but it's back down. You'd think, I used to think that 7,000 was a lot, but it's not anymore. I go through it, man. Okay. So now we can make some ceilings. And I don't think we need 100. I actually don't know exactly how many we need. Let's make... Um, well, once I roof the, the middle tower, we'll need it. But I just want to make sure we have enough to finish that outside tower right now. Get all that stuff making. And then let's go use what I've got on me. So when I finish this whole thing, I'll do a short little uh, YouTube. Actually, do an edited YouTube video, which I haven't done for a long time. 
I've been kind of phobic about editing lately. Not phobic, but I just haven't had time. If I edit, it's just that much less I get to play lately. Okay, so this is where I messed up. But yeah, I'll do a little showcase of the whole finished thing here. Bam. So you gotta crouch down here. Get up and uncrouch. Boink. And it doesn't work if you're uh, encumbered. Oh, you had to stand on the lower roof. Oh, I was worried about that. I see. Ah, interesting. No, there's a whole bunch of people chatting. Your thing was messing up. Messing up. And of course, it was for the actual YouTubers that YouTube won't work, right? <laughs> I actually need to change my chat. It goes to top chat all the time, and I need to keep it on live chat just so I can see everything. Everything. Well, you know, if I made it so that you couldn't get up on the roof here, Crackers, then I wouldn't have been able to kill you. So, that was my evil plan. It was intentional. And I heard you, too. I heard the clink, clink. Clink, the unmistakable sound of a grapple. Trying to get up here. Alright, so that's that. And then next is the a ring of half walls. One of the things that's different, Jen, about the building system, um, you've probably seen me do it, is that... Uh, one piece will become a lot of different pieces. So walls become all these different things, right? So walls are half walls and triangles and rails, um, windows and doors. Um, but also, when you place a piece down, it stays there to place again. So you don't have to press that button every time you want to place that dang thing, uh, which I think is really cool. Okay, so and this helps you build a lot faster. So I think I had it so that once you come up here, then you got the trap door right there. And then the rest of these are going to be the ceilings like this. Evil, yes. <laughs> and I just watch you struggle getting up, and then I sit here. With my rifle, just ready for you when you get up. Okay. You're pretty tough, though. You didn't have armor on it. It took a rifle shot and a pistol shot. So. Had to use two bullets on you. Just got back from a phone call. Alright. So now we need more pieces. Oh, wait. I still got some on me. Never want to go down with pieces. Oop, that one's not right. Sometimes I just put the triangles down blithely. But then afterwards I'll go back and realize that they're all going different directions. And it drives me nuts. No, you're not going to do it until I put those other pieces on. Okay, that's fine. Boink. Okay, I got to remember to bring a ladder up with me. And it's the whiny kitty right on cue. Oh, you know what I did? I'd forgotten. Look at that. I did prepare. I put all the parts in there. I'm like, why didn't I prepare with pieces? Because <laughs> I, I had them up here. What a guy, monkey puzzle. What a guy. Okay. So that has a door. It's a little tricky um, coming up here because you can't put a door on a triangle piece. So I had a little airlock this off. I've got the door there. And then, oh, but, you know, it doesn't do any good if I don't grab the pieces, huh? Even though they're up here with me. Let's grab some of these. 
And some of these. Was that you calling the moms of your NPCs? <laughs> Ma'am, I've got some bad news for you. Sorry to be the one to have to tell you this, but uh, I didn't feed your kid. Grown kid. Yeah, I was I was definitely very sleep deprived. It was one of those one of those moments. Oh no, I can't get up here. Um, it was one of those. Oh, can I? Oh, 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 no. I gotta drop some. It was one of those moments where um, you had to get off because you were starting to fall off of things and stuff. You're so tired. Okay, so. Finish that up. And. That goes there. Oh, that's the wrong piece. Boink. Can you guys hear my kitty? She has become quite the whiner. And she does it especially uh, when I'm streaming. Right on cue. She's like, you're not paying attention to me. The trick is, I have to grab her, which I just did. I hold her for a minute. She's looking at the mic right now, sniffing it. And then I grab her for a minute and hold her and pet her. And she's like, eh, you're not supposed to pick me up. And then she runs away. And then I'm good for a little while. <laughs> Hunt, what's going on? You promised you're not a spy. What's the fun in that? Okay, so now there's this one. Uh, let's get this in here. Up here. Boom, boom. I'm going to put a lot of triangles. And I'm going to try to remember to put them all the correct direction. Almost as sad as calling the moms of the bears lost to Genki now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's got food, she's got water, she's got access to outside. She just wants attention, but she doesn't know how she, how she wants it. Like, like I said, if you try to pick her up and pet her, she'll be like, eh. It's just this kind of malcontent thing she's got. She just wants you to pay attention to her. In a cat kind of way, you know. Missing one. Okay, and then we go ahead and do the outside to these. <laughs> Sir Garwin. All right. Uh, so these are triangles. And that one for that side. We, uh, when I first was trying to make the uh, parapets for this, or the um, crenulations. The, uh, there's no piece for that here. And we had a whole discussion about how to do it. And I don't think we still worked it out, but I just went for these. The jester is always one of my archetypes. Um, and I thought, well, not the, not the, uh, jester from Batman. That one's all wrong. But the, um, you know, the classic King's jester. Um, with the little hat with the little triangle triangular little fringes um so i like the little that you they'd be like a jester's hat or or can think of it as like a king's hat so i went with that and i think i need to put doors on there i think that's going to get me there for this one and then we're going to go finish or not finish but put the tower in the middle part's a little tricky but that's good you want it to be difficult for invaders to get in so they're not familiar so don't watch as I do that okay and that one goes that way and then I've been doing this little thing on these I'm not sure 
when I think of it, or if this is an advantage or a disadvantage, but I realized you could just sort of link all these together. So if you're up here fighting, you can run from one to the other. And today, hopefully, we're going to put some mortars up here um, so that this thing can actually defend itself. There's a couple times while I was building this and people brought ships in the harbor to just, you know, they were nice enough. They didn't attack, but just to kind of like, you know, taunt me while I was streaming here. And I didn't have the stuff on here to uh, do anything about it, really, except maybe shoot them with my rifle or something like that. So today we want to put mortars up here and then down below there's a level where we want to put um, cannons and I think I think the cannons are all gonna go on this level <laughs> yeah I don't say you can touch me said kitty Right? She only wants to sit in your lap if it's her idea. Human, I have a need. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, I've got these little places here. I thought we could put cannons. <clears throat> I'm not sure if um, it should be one per each of these or two per each of these. It probably should be two. Um, I'll think about it. Depends if we're going to have NPCs on them or not, too. Um, but since they're kind of limited... What do you think, Raleigh? You tell me. Should we have one cannon in here? Or should we have two? Those are those walls that look like that. Um, could... It would be much harder to come out of those, because those are all triangulated. So these are easier places for them. So either one in the center or two on either side of that um, to stick the ship's cannons. And then Raleigh says, Haha, speaking of attention-seeking pets, finally got to my bed and Penny is just sprawled out looking for belly rubs. <laughs> yes, you pet that belly, you monster. I did. She didn't seem to want to share the bed, though. Now she is in her bed. Or I thought she, well, she's a small dog, right? My dogs, man, they're so hairy and stinky, they do not get to be in my bed. But uh, they sleep on a bed right next to mine on the ground, so that's pretty good. <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about, sick? <laughs> All the cannons. Two? Okay, two it is. Two it is. And we're going to have to make those, too. And all of that. I made a bunch of alloy each time I went and got metal. Um, and now we're up to 2,000... 2,600. So hopefully that will get us some cannons. And some mortars. Uh, I'm going to have to do a little work on getting up to speed. We did have a bunch of um, gunpowder at one point when uh, Fox was coming on. I guess you made some too, Raleigh, right? Um, let's see. Cannons. How would we do with this? We can make two. <laughs> uh, oh, it's just hide. Okay. So... We need some hide. So yeah, we'll do a little fun stuff with some cannons, and then we'll do that do that tower in the middle. Or at least we'll get these making right now. See, we got a lot of this kind of hide. That's going to be plenty. Plenty of hide. And then, uh, how many do we need? Boink, boink, boink. We need... Should be a multiple six, right? So I don't know if we need them on the back. If we're going to just do them on the outside, that would be two, four, six, eight. Eight cannons. 
eight cannons and ten mortars, at least. Your great dame nudges the blankets till you cover her. Oh. I like big dogs. I've got sort of largest, largest medium dogs, and everybody thinks they're big dogs because small dogs are just like all the fashion nowadays. And then you have like decent sized dogs, and everybody's like, oh my god, big dogs. And they're scared of them because they're kind of big. But you know, the only dog that I've ever had close to biting me was like a chihuahua. <laughs> So, um, all right, so we need, we figured out we need eight, so we need six more cannons. Let's do that. Oh, now I can make 80. Damn. Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to need to make some for a ship battle anyway. So between now and then, I got to make a schooner. Unless I use Bulldog, but Bulldog has too many guns on her. He, Bulldog's against the rules right now. I don't necessarily want to demolish those. So I have to make another one. Maybe uh, this I'll make one called Great Dane. <laughs> well, no, Schooner's not really big enough to be a Great Dane. That would be a Galleon. I'll make this one a Pit Bull. How about that? And then we need some mortars. We need 10 mortars. On top there. Cool. And then we're going to need some ammo boxes. Um, I'm going to make one. Oh, metal. Good old metal. It's always metal. Dun, dun, dun. Use all the metal. Raleigh you can't go to sleep. You gotta come on here and harvest five loads of metal. Since I'm using all of ours. Oh, not enough room. Fine. Don't let me put the metal in. All right, let me grab the building parts out of here. Boink, 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 and now I'm gonna be heavy, heavy. Those crossovers on all our, uh, your tower are not wise. You can, but not towers, and you don't like that? Yeah, they get up there, they can get the other one, but at the same time, you can get up there to jump to from mortar to mortar. I mean, you can always demolish them if it's really an issue. Forty-five pounds border collie. Yeah, she certainly can. I'm sure you keep her immaculately bathed and stuff. My dogs work out in the garden with me, so they just get to a certain level of dirty. <laughs> they just stay that way. <laughs> they don't get dirtier than that. And the dust they roll in uh, keeps them from getting too stinky. Yeah, I'm less scared of big dogs as well. They're usually just, you know, they've got confidence. Big guys don't need to be scared. It's always those little guys. Like, come on, come on. You know that little guy complex? Yeah. Bigger is more chill, for sure. You like every other every other two towers to have a crossover. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Raleigh. Get some sleep for sure. Do that Baywatch run. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, you know, after this whole thing, we're definitely gonna need to stock up again. Oh yeah, I love that. Look at those mortars. Look at those cannons. Um, all right, and then we were trying to stick metal in there but let me see we're gonna need to take these out of here all right and here let me just run those up there Ooh, oh wow i can still move i wasn't expecting that okay so mortars are gonna go up here on top of these guys I'm going to stick them in the box for the moment, and we'll place them all. Okay, oh, let me run these mats back down while I'm up here. Eh. 
And then, why don't I just go ahead and place these cannons right now? Um, we're gonna need some walls. Replace those ones. I think that that should be enough. I might as well take a few more. And throw these mats in here. And then, oh yeah, let's grab that metal. Now that we can... Throw that in here. That's all. That's all I can do. Let's grab these. Switch them out. Doink. 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 I don't know how many ammo boxes I'm going to need. Um, it depends on how the range works up there. The fewer the better, of course, just for logistics. Although, for people breaking into them, then that's another thing. Um, but we're going to need... Oh, let's go ahead and make all those. Yeah, and then we're going to need to make cannonballs and all that stuff. Um, but let's not get too deep into that right now. But, uh, yeah, let's go have some fun with these. We did have... Are they all on the ship, O'Reilly? All our cannonballs? Yeah, I think we might need them. I don't think we have any in here. We did have some gunpowder somewhere, didn't we? Aha, those are the large ones. Let me get some gunpowder making. I've been preparing for this moment. I've been, uh, Stocking up on anthracite. We'll do it here in the middle. Dunk, 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 dunk. And flint. Oh, that's too much flint. You get out of there. And we'll get a whole bunch of gunpowder making. And this will go towards, uh, getting us ready for the ship battle too and let's grab this little bit throw it in here and cannonballs we're gonna need to make some mortar shot too let's just grab a couple so we can fire off Okay, let's go place some cannons. I love it when you get to the part building the stuff where you can actually put the weapons down. Acceptable levels of stink, right? <laughs> it doesn't do much good for me to bathe them because they just get dirty again the next day. They just, they work outside with me. And dirt dirty, I don't mind. At dust, it's just like animals in the wild, how they roll themselves in the dust. Hmm. So, Sir Garwin's giving me a hard time about the connections. Don't think about that. I kind of don't like how they look. But even if they weren't there, you could just jump. Oh, yes. Have a section for bow or crossbow to shoot flame arrows. Yeah, you definitely have to have that as well. That's what that used was originally. Um, maybe we do three. Why don't they go all the way up? Actually, I didn't mean to do that. We need to be down on this level. Maybe we have a door in the middle. Um, I don't have any doors on me. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> At least I didn't fall down the tube, Jay Spooky. Um, it's got to be a door so you can shoot down. So, but I can put a door on it. I can't leave it open like that because that's where crackers would come up, right? Um, but yeah, if there's a cannon on each side and a door in the middle um, to snipe from. Could be on another level too. There are other levels within there. We could have the sniper level and the cannon level. And, you know, now that this uh, main framework is done, 
we can keep adding on to it. You know, I want to make, I have some ideas for ways to make flying buttresses with puckle guns and NPCs in them and stuff. Um, and on and on and on. So we'll see how this goes. But, um, oh, I should have grabbed the door while I was down there. All right, so, boink, boink. All right, yeah, this is, everything is reinforced. There's the kitty again. Meh. Okay. Yeah, and I think I've put cannons through doorways before, and they seem to work fine. And since we're doing two, we might want to angle them a little bit. Not too much. We don't want to waste. Real quick. Can I man it? Why can't I man it? Hmm. That's no good. Does this need to go away? Oh, there it is. There it is. Mount. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of limited your field of view. I could have angled it a little bit more, but enough that you can see out. And people can't climb in there now because there's a cannon in the way. Let's try this again. Make sure that. Uh... What's up, kitty? Come here. Come talk to the people. Yeah, no. When that door's there, I don't get the mount. I'm not crazy. All right, so it's got to be like that. It's not the end of the world because you're not, even if you bust the cannon and get in here, there's still layers to go. These, I got to put doors in. There, if like people make it in this far, you can open the window and shoot them. Although I guess they could throw a grenade in too. Now we could put a door here and then you can lean out and shoot. The door will be in your way a little bit. <laughs> Something like that. Whoa, how'd that get like that? <laughs> Sick is in the PVE company and he's talking smack. So I figured I could do a bit more angle. All right, this has to go. Anyway, let's just go ahead and take that out. And you know, and I can actually build back here to make this more secure. In fact, I think that's going to need to happen because I'm feeling, for all this enclosure, I'm feeling a little naked in here now. Even with my nice cannons. All right, so we got those two pointing out. Nice field of fire. That one goes that that far. And this the trick is I'm trying to make them overlap with the ones on the other walls. <laughs> it's giving away your plans. Yeah, let's see. This is our, our little uh, bed thing that we put in when we first got here. Bam! <laughs> it works! <laughs> it works! <laughs> oh! That's an issue. That is an issue. Does it do that every time? 
No fair. <laughs> Dismount the cannon and it throws you out. I guess I'll just have to put NPCs on there. Who never dismount. <laughs> all right, this is always you're gonna always have to use the cannons naked. So if you get thrown out. Maybe if you go this way a bit more. Oh my god. Stupid game. <laughs> no. How do you avoid that? The cannon through the doorway works, but it um throws me outside when I dismount. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way I can avoid that. Let's see, check it out. I'm on here. And let's see, let's make it go nice and even in the middle. It throws me outside when I dismount. That is an issue. That is a real issue. Let's do a little science here. When you put a cannon down, you gotta be quick with this, and mount it and get off. It throws me to the back. Okay. I'm trying to see if it throws me to either side. But it throws me to the back. So we're gonna have to, maybe it's the roof above. Maybe it's just too narrow in there. I could mount it with the doorway. Um, behind. The, through the door is fine. It was the doorway behind here. So it couldn't have this doorway. But that one's fine. Um, let's try... Take out the ceiling. And then... See, this, this works fine. Blow up our little hut there. Bam. <laughs> oh, and it still throws me out. Okay. That's no good. That will not do. I can mount it, I just can't dismount it. <laughs> Once I'm on it, I'm on it forever. Alright, we're gonna work this out. Yes, it is. It is definitely to your advantage. Alright, what else needs to happen here? Let's see, let's, uh, let's make this whole space a little bigger. And then we'll just seal it in from the back. All right. How's that? Hey! Much better. Much better. Okay, I can live with that. That one's a little scary, but it still keeps me in here. Okay. So we need a door on there. And then this is to open up and to actually just shoot with arrows and carbines and stuff. Um, and then so back here, we'll need to seal this in a bit. Let's see. Let's put that on the inside just to be consistent. Of course, the game says, no, do what I want. Stop it. <clears throat> There we go. Another door to get in. We'll have to see which way that turns. No.
<sighs> it doesn't really matter. Oh, look, you're wrong. I just want that consistency. You're misplaces. There are no crossbows in here, Sir Garwin. No crossbows. That's something that's definitely missing. Goes from bows to pistols. Hmm. I think it might be trying to attach to this one. I don't know why I care. Doesn't really matter. But just trying to keep the consistency since on this wall none of the ornamentation is pointing inward. Sometimes the game just gets really stubborn. See, it's where I want it to be. It's not moving. I press click. And it's over there. That's something that has not changed from Ark. What if I do it this way? And it still goes that way. Bannister? Um, rails, well, rails will have the same effect of um, keeping you from shooting down. Unfortunately. Doors are the only things you can actually shoot down below you. Oh my god. I give up. I give up. I don't care enough. They're gonna go that way. Well, that's fine. And then we'll need some ceilings. In here. So that ceiling actually wasn't the offending piece, huh? It was the walls next to it. It is better than an arc for the most part. Um, but there's just moments like that. That uh, try one's patience. Now these two are different. You gotta at least be consistent. If they're pointing out, they're pointing out. There we go. Now, once you get those down, if I was going above it, uh, then it would be consistent. But I'm just going to put a, a roof there. Okay, so we've got that design down now. So now we just need to do it again. So we'll demolish that. All this comes out. We lose a little bit of protection, but we gain some offense. But you can see the level of thickness in this everywhere. I did this consistently, too. There's no square that doesn't have a ceiling inside like that. my cannons. Yes, I do. So much easier when I just go with the flow. Okay, and I'm going to need some more pieces. Wink. Ooh. That stuff back in there and uh, let me see I needed some more I moved them all what's up kitty let 
Need some of these. And some of these. Oh, I'm encumbered, right? Because I still have all those cannons on me. We'll keep it light for the moment. And I'm going to need some of these. Okay. So we'll do a little bit more cannoning. And then we'll go work on that central tower. And you guys get the idea, at least. What's going on with these? So we need... Uh, seal this in. And... Um, let me see. I need... Oop. Well, that's unfortunate to put a door on here. It does limit you some. You know what I could do? Um, do something like that. And then you can come here and you can open it inward. And you get more angles. Yeah, let's try that. Okay. Put that in there. And so that creates an airlock for that area. Just making sure I close that back up. And then ideally we have NPCs on all of these. And then this will all be like automatic turrets. Sick is exploring and satisfactory and the pigs in Atlas keep scaring me. <laughs> One second, folks, I got to sneeze again. All right, and I'm back. And my vitamins are getting low. I might just have to kill myself. And now I'm overeaten. All right, let's, uh, we only need to do two more of these, right? Um, this is the back. This is the back wall. It's different. We just need to do this one and this one. Let's see if we can knock those out real quick. Yeah, I got a lot of exploring to do in Satisfactory. I found some caves, but I didn't explore them because I didn't want to do it when I wasn't streaming. I'm trying to save things for that. I'll be short a couple doors. Cannon. And cannon. Wahahaha. Okay, and then we gotta seal this in. Somewhere 
There's a door now. Interesting. All right, and one more. Yeah, Satisfactory is a fun little game. Um, it's, uh, yeah, just tweaking with all the mach machinery and uh, getting all that automation going. And just, it's so hard not to be proud of yourself when it's all set up. And you'll be like, look what I made. I mean, I can see a limit to it, but I, I haven't hit that limit yet. Which, you know, I haven't played it that much at all yet, so that's not surprising. But yeah, there's all kinds of opportunity for tweakiness in it. Okay. Need to bring two doors over here for this. And get the last cannons down. You have assembly lines for all the basic items and a handful of intermediate items. Yeah, I have down for what I've unlocked so far, but I'm only up to uh, rotors, modular frames. And I know there's more after that. Okay. So let me grab some doors. And we can go ahead... Let's see, what's the most used one? Usually when people come in over there, let's... These cannonballs I have on me, let's load them into these two. Successfully dismounted. Excellent. I'm glad we worked that out. <laughs> I'm glad I figured that out before it was the heat of battle, too. Getting thrown outside. That would be awkward. Okay, let's get a bunch of doors. Grab all these. We're gonna need those. We're heavy. We have all these former walls on us. Dump all that stuff. Turn it into more walls. Um, because that middle tower is gonna need to be pretty tall. It is. It's Load this stuff. Let's walk it up. Too heavy. It's gonna be too slow. All right, let's walk that stuff up. Do I put the little triangle piece I did? You gotta expose yourself for a second to do that, but then uh, get a nice vantage. Okay. And it did it again. Where are those doors going? It's not in those. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, so we got a little bit of defenses now. If someone came and messed with us, we wouldn't be completely defenseless. And let's see, let's take these materials upstairs. And let's see, I'm storing them in here. 
point, 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 point. And uh, I guess we can put the mortars down, yeah? Might as well. That'll be fun. Let's throw those down and then we'll build that middle tower. I'll have to go make a little mortar shot. Yep. Sometimes it's just, there we go. It's tricky. Hey. Okay. So now these gonna need to mainly point out there. We're still going to need another defense or something up there, because we're a little recessed here. But... Uranium. So let me see. If... That's the two outsides. We got one, two, three, four. I'm going to need actually some mortar shot before I place these down because I want to be able to load them and see the uh, trajectory. So hold that thought a second. And next time I go downstairs, remind me to make some mortar shot. Um, but before I make another trip down there, let's start placing some of this tower here. Um, uh, I'm going to need some of those and some of those. So it's going to go right here. You come up here, right? And then you should have an option to go outside. Right there. Probably fine. Yeah, we'll do it there. I don't like putting doors and trap doors too close to each other because um, it can get uh, messy trying to close them. But I think that's enough of a space apart. Way do you open? That's awkward. I don't like that. Uh, so can we pick it up? Yeah. Too late to pick it up. We're gonna put it over here. Although it's still closed that way. I think I just have to flip it like that. It'll look a little weird. That's better. Yeah, we'll do that. And then this tower... I gotta decide... if the ornamentation goes on the inside or the outside. If we're gonna be consistent with these... it would be plain. So it seems to really... There we go. So we'll take a vote. It's the middle tower. Should it be naked? Like these guys? Or should this one... Be a little flashier? And have the, the ribbing? What do you guys think? It's going to go quite high. It's going to be at least twice as tall as those guys. This is going to be the glider tower. So this one's not defensive. Um, it's going to 
kind of be a lookout and a place that you can glide anywhere else on the map from. Go big or go home. I'm going big with my home. Big home. Oh, I think maybe this one's going to be flashy. Make it fancy. Okay. We'll do it. So yeah, this one will be have some flair. Look at all that flair. It goes up, which is easy. Except for when the wall does that. You don't want to do that. Alright, and that one's backwards because I made the door backwards so it could swing correctly. We're gonna have to mess with that mess with that one for a second, see if it lets us mess with it. Do we even get that other snap there? We might not. Since it only wants to fit on the wall below it, I could flip it, but then it's going to be off. I think we got to flip the door afterwards. We're going to have to demolish this. Or let the door be awkward. One or the other. Well, that's I like the uh, texture of the door on the outside like that. Let's see again what that door does. Oop. I guess make people have to close the door. Um, because it might be useful anyway. Because you can come up and then you're gonna go around this way. And what this is gonna do is we're going to make a little spiral staircase. Because we have two um, uh, rings of stuff here, we can do this little thingy now where... Um, if that is a... I think we can start right here too, I think. Uh, if we want to start one more away. So they don't conflict. Yeah, let's start it over here. Oh, wait, no, it has to go here. Pretty sure. Let's well, triangle square, but we could we could change that pattern. Let's try this. And do I have any... I do. These here. So now we put ramps there. We're going to be able to get up around. So we need... A little one of those... And one of these. And that's going to take us all the way up to center. And you're going to be able to run up it. Control tower, yes. <laughs> it twisted my rubber arm. It is. Okay. <laughs> I thought of a naughty thing to say, but um, based on Crackers' comment, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go there. The Family Channel. Although there are ways that families are made.
Uh, you you figured that. Out. <laughs> Naughty. All right, so need some more of these, some more of these, and as many of these as I can carry. Carry more than that. Ooh. Sometimes the outside edges of these don't line up as well as I'd like them to. It's like a little breeze that's going to go through there. As long as an arrow doesn't go through there. Um, yeah. But oh well. We'll live with that. Definitely better to have it be fancy. And get rid of some of these so I can move. See the sun all the way up in the sky there. And this one's going fast because for aesthetics, um, I want it to be kind of thin. And so I'm not doubling it up like I have everything else. But it's sort of in the center here. It's sort of protected by all these other things. And it's not as strategically important as the rest of them. So it wouldn't really be a military target. Um, and there are ways that I can reinforce it. Like what we could do, if we really cared, Oh, this is why... Yeah, I didn't want to switch that pattern. So I was thinking we could put a wall around the inside. Um, but then I would have had to stick with the pattern that the floor is already on. Unless... Can I get it to stick to... See that? With the other triangle. Apparently it doesn't want to stick on it on its own. Start it out. No, don't fight. Oh, that's cool. The little half walls, the thing they do. That's neat. Yeah, it doesn't seem like... Oh, and the rails do that, too. That's cool. Oh, I can do that. There we go. There we go. Oh. Is that how that goes? I guess so. Yeah, and so that will give it a double layer of strength that will help hold it up and keep it from being able to knock down. Copying the ramp style from your Arc Olympus build? No, you copied from um, the ramp style in my island. Um, what was that? The metal harvesting keep up on the, the blue obelisk mountain on the island? I have a, a ramp style just like this on there. So you copied from that. Mm-hmm. We know. <laughs> so there. That's right. <laughs> you weren't watching those? Well, you should have been. You incriminated yourself again. <laughs> But yeah, if you go on the island, you'll see on that keep, I had a style like this. Poor Ark in the island. So neglected. My animals are probably all dead. I think Bison fed them for me once, which is great. 
But I've been just like, it's been long enough now that I've been afraid to go on there for what I might find or not find. I'm thinking if we all get reinvigorated in the Ark again, if that's going to happen, I might give us all some sort of amnesty where we load up old copies of the maps and and um, cluster them with the current versions and give ourselves uh, like a, a couple days to like transfer our old dinos back in because I think most of us probably starved majority of our creatures at that, this point except for those few people who were able to um, to get them all in cryo but those folks have to worry about um, keeping their cryo going their fridges you lose them all if you let the power run out Okay, let's keep going up here. Yeah, I would have liked to just shut them down for the meantime. There was a few people playing, though. Like, I think Bison still plays. Lucky Phil was, but I think he's playing Satisfactory now. Um... But I would love to just start up the ones from right right after we all started playing Atlas. There's just a few people who have progress since then. So we could we could do it one way or the other is we could either load up the old saves and cluster them and then transfer stuff back over. Or we could talk to the people who've made progress and see and give them the opportunity to do the same. Um, there's a few people I'm sure have done a lot. Like, I know Bison's done a lot, and Or was on there for a bit. Um, Leneth. Leneth has done a lot of work. So, but one way or another, we could fix it. Because, you know, a lot of us just, you know, lost stuff from just not playing and having too many games. Yeah, I might need to take that connections between them out those are kind of weird um but now so that's about halfway there we need to go up or maybe a third so in this you guys get to tell me when we're gonna keep going up and uh oh so many so many crackers thousands of pieces thousands my fps is still hanging in there though amazingly enough um, I'm at like 50 FPS right now. It's not frame killing. They, they optimized the pieces some way that it's not like arc, like in arc, this would have been enough to kill, uh, your frame rate already. Right. All these pieces. I mean, a lot of them are encapsulated. Like if you don't see them, they don't count as much. Um, but still. Sick is against ARC till the community manager at Wildcard unbans HOD gaming. <laughs> yeah, I mean it was wrong to 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 um to ban him, but at the same time he was asking for it. I mean, doing videos showing people how to mesh. I mean, come on. You know, if it's broken, it's broken for a reason. It's not because they're reluctant to fix it. I'm sure if they could fix it, they could. That's just an issue with video games. Meshing is something that just, it's hard to stop, you know? Oh God, I did it again. I might do that. Hey, let's get up there real quick. Can we get up there in time? Probably not. I could do the climbing pick thing again. I'm going too slow. It's this one, pick it up. Yes. So, you know, it's by exposing it, which everybody knew about already, I don't know what he was hoping to accomplish. Because 
Obviously, if they haven't fixed it, it's because they can't. The real problem with meshing is the people who mesh. But I guess that's always going to be the case on, uh, you know, on public, on official. No, it was it was a cheap move to ban him, and you know, to ban a popular player like that, they're gonna lose players too. But they were at least, you know, to their credit, being consistent. If you do a video showing people how to mesh, I know he was trying to do it as a public service, but like I said before, I'm not sure what he expected to gain from that. And, I mean, I didn't watch the whole thing, but I learned stuff from that. There was ways to mesh that I didn't know about. <laughs> now I do. <laughs> Should I have known that? You know? I certainly didn't know that there was all those different ways. How are we doing now? We're getting up there. We're not there yet. And then we'll put a little crown or something on top of this one too. It'll be a smaller one. But we'll do the same little outward flare. But we gotta go up a ways. No, I know he didn't actually cheat, but still he made a video showing people how to cheat. All right, Sir Garwin. You'll be lurking in the back for the remainder of the evening. Thank you for joining. And, um, yeah. Thanks for encouraging me to get on and finish this today. I'm tempted to put the, uh, railing all the way up. because I can. That's pretty cool. Unless I was going to put the wall all the way up. Anyway, I'll just leave it like that for now. And then it was just being closed. The problem with the railing is it makes it harder to jump off all the way down if you want to, but I guess, I mean, that's supposed to be the point, right? <laughs> Okay, so we need some more of these. And some more of these. A whole bunch of these. Coming together. Once I finish this, I will be done. Except for placing the mortars and filling in the um, thickness of all the walls in the pen there. This is looking cool. You know what? I think I'm going to take a risk. And, uh... Well, I could still fill it in with the walls on this inside part. And then there'd just be rails on the top part of it. Could do that. Could do that. But I'm not going to put in the whole inner wall core today, anyway. I got a schooner to make. Alright, let's keep going. I know we're going to go at least that far more. They gave you a farther reach in here than they did in Arc 2. You can reach pretty dang far. Where'd that one go? <laughs> it's gonna be out there 
somewhere. Sticking the wrong way, I know it. Whoa! That's a good case for railings. All right, got our cylinder going. Okay, so we need some triangles. One there. One there. One there. Then we need some ramps. Boink. 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 All right. Ooh, we're getting there. Yeah. All right. Now is when you all can start considering when you say when. I kind of feel like it should be three times the height of those stubby towers. And this is just a little bit more than twice, right? What's that? That's what one. Two, three, four, five. They're about six high, if you count the pointy bits. They got the little half wall on top, so that kind of messes up the count. And then I've got one, two, three, four, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Past that. <laughs> Nobody say it for as long as possible. I mean, we could make it ridiculous. If this is the glider tower, you want to be able to at least glide to most of the places on the island and there's a lot of places that are a lot taller <laughs> a lot taller oh he's unbanned excellent good news right on you know i never watched many of his um arc pvp videos i watched some but i wasn't really much into pvp and arc but i watched a lot of his uh his ones on um atlas and those were really good i even modeled a ship after one of the ones he made a little armored uh i made an armored brig oh too heavy Can I move? Now I can move. Ooh, we're gaining height quick. Gaining height quick. Yeah, I like the uh, ship to ship warfare or ship to to land base warfare better than I like the like the whole you know killing each other with each other's dinos. I don't know. I mean, it's a similar thing, but I just like it better. All right, let's try four more. I think five more would get me to three times. Let's just go for that. See what that's like. That's going to be very tall. <laughs> Understatement. I don't like seeing the dinos get killed. I much prefer seeing the Ships get sunk. Oh, messed one up. Dang it. 
I just leave it till we got there, but uh, I may regret this. Whoa! There we go. But then I wouldn't be able to place the one on top of it. Oh, I need some more. Here, let's use up these uh, ceilings and ramps first. There. 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 And there. Let's go get some more walls. And then we'll see if we think that's tall enough. Ooh, I get dizzy. Oh, I don't have any more walls. All right, let's go get some more. I know we made some downstairs. And then uh, you guys were supposed to remind me of something, too, when I got down there. And Raleigh's snoring away. Probably in real life, too, now. 25. Some more making. That's it. Thatch. Now it's thatch. Do, 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 do. Thatch. Still doing good on thatch. Now we're full. About to be snoring yourself. Let's find your way back to your factory. Well, it's single player. It doesn't matter. It's not like it persists. Oh, you know what? Oh, shoot. I can't make mortars. Mortar shot yet. I don't have any salt. I used the last salt on the preserving bags. Yeah, I got to do a little ship voyage and get some salt so I can make some blasting powder. I can make some mortar shot. Yeah. I haven't made blasting powder for a while. Probably should grab some more crystal, too. We got gems here. We don't have crystal and salt. We got plenty of that. We can make plenty of sap. How are we doing on crystal? Not much. So I got to make a crystal salt run. And then I can do the mortars. All right. Whatever. Get that done. That'll give me something to do after this is done. You don't want to forget. <laughs> well, you got that little icon with the home on it. So that should keep you from forgetting. So we got the walls going. We got some on us. Got 42. Ooh, look at that big thing.
Yeah, it can be pretty good, difficult to traverse some of the terrain there. They put lots of height barriers and stuff. What are the rest of you all doing out there? I know Sick is playing Satisfactory. Sir Garwin's lurking, doing something. What are the rest of you all up to? Let's get a little light on me here. And let's see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what we think of this now. That's pretty tall. Uh, definitely getting to the level of ridiculousness. You'd probably glide to most places on the island. You couldn't get up there, but you might be able to get to those trees right there. Pretty likely. Cynthia is sandboxing on test server. What test server? Of what game? Glax is preparing for war. Hey, Glax, what's going on? <laughs> Looking forward to sinking you, buddy. Hunt is designing a floor plan for the wizard tower. My group inherited it in the Friday D&D &D games. Oh, wow. That's pretty detail-oriented. Floor plan for the wizard tower. Cool. I'm contemplating going to bed. It's also sniffling a lot. <laughs> Atlas test server. Oh, Oni. Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me know, Cynthia. I did not know. What are you testing? Or should I know? Is it secret? <laughs> M's engraved in your cannonballs. That means your cannonballs will be sympathetic for me. And they'll come over and jump into my cannons and shoot back at you all. Still here watching. Right on, ladybugs. It doesn't seem as tall from here. What do you guys think? Is it there or still go up? It's time for a vote. Just playing with building. Okay. Without having to do the work of gathering. <laughs> I could dig it. So much gathering in this thing, man. Like I said, I got a lot of audiobooks done and uh, podcasts and stuff while I was doing this. But um, yeah, I could not harvest for a while. That'd be okay. Hunt says taller. Six says keep going. Uh-oh. Got a contrary vote. Ladybugs likes it there. So we've got two to one. Any more votes coming in? What do y'all think? <laughs> Sick is all shh. He needs to keep going. All right, we got two for keep going. One for one for. Uh, I like it there. Ladybugs watches every one of my streams too, so she might count as two votes. So we might need a tiebreaker <laughs> at this point. Cynthia Oni is uh, ambivalent. Okay. It's still going to have the little the little uh, thing on top. Yeah, it's going to flare out on top. It's just the, uh, the neck of it. I kind of feel like it should be a little taller myself. A little taller. You're having a hard time seeing it? It's a little dark. Um, definitely nighttime right now. But uh, when I look over at um, at uh, OBS, I can see it on there on the, its little screen. Oh, Hunt's pulling rank here. He says mine also counts as two as demi admin in the Discord guild. <laughs> so it's three to two now. <laughs> Glax says it's good like that. 
Six says ten walls higher. Hmm. Oh, look at that moon. Nice moon. We're sinking hunt first. Hey, Shamel. You like it. Oh, okay, because phallic at top. <laughs> Definitely has a little of that going on, for sure. Especially with the ribbing. Um, whoops. <laughs> um... Stream quality keeps dropping for you, but it pops back in periodically. OBS says it's fine. So it's def probably your internet connection. Leave the chimney so I can drop down into your base. Oh, you're going to be Santa Claus? Cracker Claus? Going to drop down and leave me some goodies? <laughs> There's that word again. <laughs> Uh, people talking smack about sinking each other. I actually think it needs to be a little bit taller because it's taller than the stubby ones from the roof, but compared to the whole height of the thing, I think it needs a little bit more extension, not too much. Uh, let's try like three or four walls more up and see how that goes. It looks like I'm underwater. <laughs> getting crazy getting kind of crazy in here yeah you know about us guys and erecting these buildings here must be compensating for something huh all right so let's go up a little bit more let's compensate at least three or four more walls See how we feel about that. That's the three. <laughs> when I was in K mode, yeah, your monitor must suck. Indeed. Looks like I'm up in the heavens on mine. Is it me or it feels like the... They're fitting together less well at the corners the further we go up. We're missing couple there go there that's there that's there oop messed up messed up dang it alright time to get this thing out Shroop. off kilter off sequence. No, we don't want to do that. It's a lost cause for these. Oh, forget it. I mean, I can get on it. Then if I pick it up... Oh, it's already too late anyway. Whee! <laughs> See if we can overeat a little bit more. All right, and we need to go get some more. Some more walls. Lots of walls. I have been up and down this thing so many times. So many. Uh. 
Okay, we made these. We got 85. That should cover it. it definitely puts a limit on things. <laughs> let's see. Let's grab till we're too heavy. Okay, there we go. But I can always make more. We can go harvest a ton of metal and make even more. But we're getting there. We're definitely, um... We're definitely gonna get my goal of pretty much finishing this today. Except for, you know, some details and some thickening. In the back, in the back, um, pen. But otherwise, it's getting done. I like just looking it up, looking up at it, how it kind of, it's a little edgy, a little jagged how they work, but I still like that little corkscrewiness. Okay, there's the two we were missing. Let me get this right this time. That's what we wanted. Excuse me. Okay. Ooh, okay, the island's starting to feel a lot shorter. Whoa. Yeah, and from this angle, it looks ridiculous. Let's go back down there. Let's see what we think about that. It's a long way down. It's coming together pretty fast. Okay, let's go out over here somewhere. It's feeling better. I actually think it still can go higher. From this angle, it's still just barely twice as high as the whole ta as the whole castle. It does need a little something to give it a feeling of a little bit more stability. I think it needs needs a little of this. Maybe maybe just too high. Let's check this out. <coughs> That's wrong. There we go.
I need some more. Can I move? I can move. I have to look to see if that's tall enough, but I, I want to give it, make it uh, a little stronger at the base. So it's not just the skinny thing going up there. It needs to taper a little bit. That's probably, actually, that's probably where it should go because then it will sort of um, mirror the angle of those there. What's up, Gyro? Hey there. Doing a little castle building. Okay. So let's uh, go inside and then let's make that meat. I think... I think what's going to need to happen is... See if I can get this right. That... Yeah, and then these are triangles. There. And we do that all the way around. Let's see what we think of that. Yeah, I think that's as high as that part can go, because otherwise it'll start to, like, it would actually almost touch these other towers. Um, and I think in these, even though they may be, oh, even though they may be functional, those connecting bits are just messing it up aesthetically. Let me up. So I think those have to go. These things here. Woo! And I'm too heavy, but you could just leap over anyway. Yeah, I haven't played Ark for uh, since Extinction Gyro. Um, got distracted by Atlas, which is basically Ark, right? Um, well, it's the evolution of Ark. You know, I'm always playing like the Ark new release, and now this is it. Um, but I've got like four thousand hours into Ark, so it's longer than I've played any game ever. So I kind of needed a break to play a lot of that game. And I love it dearly, um, but at the same time, there's things that drive me nuts about it that I know are just not going to change. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of moving on, but not too far, right? I'm still being loyal to the roots here. Still got the same controls and the same server structure for the most part, and somewhat using what i learned there here um and all my friends are here now all the folks that i play arc with are playing atlas so if we went and played arc i uh would not be playing with the majority of people that i usually play with i feel weird um you know, I feel like I have loyalty to games, and when I stop playing them, I feel, like, guilty, which is strange. It's a strange thing to feel. Um, but there's so many games, and there's, like, so many games that I haven't played yet that I want to play. So many games, not enough time, and I keep making them. All right, so hopefully that's going to make that look a little bit better. Oh, 
All right, Hunt. Have a good night, man. Thanks for hanging out. You demi, demi man, you. And uh, hopefully I will see you on Sunday, right? Are you going to be there? We're having a ship battle Sunday for anybody who came in and missed that part. Uh, Crackers is instigating, getting us all to blow each other up. We're going to have a big wager. We're going to wage, we're going to bet gold on it. And I'll go out on Sunday and all the companies are going to have a big thing where we try to sink each other's ships. Right on. <laughs> you don't think I got my money's worth yet? <laughs> I got the game for like $15, I think. It was on one of the sales. You don't think I've earned my 50, played the, uh, they've earned my 15 bucks yet? I know, everybody, I can definitely think of lots of things to complain about ARK, but when they call it a cash grab, <laughs> I'm like, uh, no, I don't think so. I mean, there's problems with mechanics, there's problems with game stability, uh, there's problems with balance. Um, but as far as hours played, and the amount of development that's happened since the game has been out, man, so much. Get up in there. There you go. Good roof piece. I love these triangle pieces. How they made the roof do all this. I'm a fan. There's a few pieces they're missing still. But it's way better than just having slopes. <laughs> Sneaky hunt. Okay, so yeah, that looks a little bit more stable. All right, let's go make a decision now about height. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? What do you guys think? I'd actually go, I think myself, I'd go even a little bit higher. A little bit higher. Uh, let's see what it looks like from down here. Ugh. Good night, sick. Thanks for hanging out. Now we didn't even destroy this blasting with our cannonballs. Wow, cannons, ships cannons don't do a whole lot, do they? Oh, there we go. The roof got it. The roof is thatched, though. <laughs> See, from this angle, it still doesn't look that bad. It could go a little higher. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to go three or four more. Oh, and let's look at how the cannons look. Yeah, it's looking a little bit more formidable. A little bit more defensible. And then... Uh, I think I'm going to make each one of these into a point. And in there is going to be an NPC on a puckle gun. Just hanging out. Ready. Invincible. <laughs> Invincible on this puckle gun. <laughs> Cracker says, lower. I won't be able to grapple up there. It's going to be a, a smaller version, I think, of the same kind of top. Unless we 
come up with something different. That one might need to be pointy on top, like pointing inward. Maybe. You kind of give it that feeling of closure. But you got to be able to leap off of it with, um, with a, whatchamacallit, with a glider. I like it. It's kind of, it's feeling kind of ornate. It's, uh, I mean, it's got a little bit of that, that, that gothic castle feel, but it's got um, a little bit of a Middle East flair on it, too, I think. Or not. Maybe it's just, it's just Atlas, but um, I'm pretty cool with it. It's better than a box. Better than a box, and it's better than a cube of giant gates. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's grab... Do we have any more walls down here? We do. Can we carry those? We can. We're not done until the tower's done. And see, if I keep going up, the stream never has to end. <laughs> Although it does have to end pretty soon. Um, I gotta stop by 10 o'clock. That's my son's bedtime. He's not here right now. Um, he's at his mom's, but he's going to come back and go to sleep. So, uh, yeah, I got about 45 minutes left. All right, so let's go up. Let's try four. And then we'll probably be where enough is enough. Enough is enough. This is where it becomes ridiculous. And I know a Raleigh wanting it to be really tall. At this point, it's definitely just for practicality. It's, it's uh, definitely going to be achieving its goal of being able to glide anywhere on the island. Oh, I did it. I did it again. Can I grab it? Oh, almost. Pick it up. Yay. Oh, I, I did. I, I told it to. I might fall. At least I fell that way. Okay. Go away. short but that should be enough to uh, for us to tell if we think it's tall enough now probably should be right uh, I can't put the last one right up there oopsie is a little bit thinner up here a little bit thinner yeah from this angle it always looks way taller wow <laughs> yeah it might be time to quit going up we'll have to build it out let's go see 
Just because any any higher, it's going to take too long to get up there. Um, and I need more walls. All right, we got to make one more batch of walls. So many walls have gone into this thing. So what do we need to make more walls? Oh, we can make some. Nope. Voila. One. Batch. <laughs> All you see is mods and chat. You're in trouble, Ice-T. Ban him. It just shows how many of my friends uh, watch. And they all get modded. Oh, look, Hunt wasn't modded. Let's mod him. Yeah, moderator. <laughs> he doesn't know it. He's a demi admin on the server, and I don't even have him as a mod on here. Yeah, I got lots of loyal viewers. That I can trust to be modded. They got wrenches, so watch out. Okay, um, so I put thatch in there. We're gonna need some metal, we're gonna need some stone. Mm -mm. Okay, we can make a hundred there. And I guess I'll put the stone away for now. We gotta twiddle our thumbs for a minute while those make. Oh not sure. If I have anything productive to do while that happens, I can eat a little bit. Oh, I never turned my lights back off. I bet they burnt off. No, they didn't burn out yet. Let's turn them off. Making slowly. Let's see, we can take some of our cannonballs up. Didn't do that much. I'm lacking for more. Oh, the gunpowder. Our gunpowder made. Uh, those are the big ones. But they're actually let me save the metal for building for the moment. Just to make sure we don't run out of metal on. I don't have to do a metal run on you guys' time here. Actually they're in here. We installed these cannon batteries on the side today earlier. We got four of them. I'm curious if I put this down. Let's see, this. What if we put it in there, right to the right of that window? Wonder if that will reach those. It'll be pretty safe in here. Put it down right there those in there and let's see if that reaches them all oh yeah reaches that one whoa uh oh that one's got that issue <laughs> you gotta fix that thought we'd resolve that
But it loaded. That's good. So why did that one kick me off? These other ones didn't. Well, let's test for loading on this one. Yep. So we're in range of all of them. I'd shoot my own ship? No. Probably not the best place for this cannon, but we could shoot somebody down there. All right. So here's the test. No, see, that didn't knock me off. These ones should load just fine. Now, that one's already loaded. That didn't knock me off. Actually, that one's loaded too. I always forget that little fuse on there means it's loaded. That's loaded. You're not loaded. Okay. I didn't get knocked out there. This was the offending one. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, oh, okay. Back in. <laughs> Take me out. Oh, and it throws me out. All right. I'm going to have to maybe move that cannon or something. That one is a troublemaker. Or maybe just take the ceiling off in that one? Something. Okay. Alright, we should have some walls now. Now that I messed around that long. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and finish up that tower. Let's have a look. Make our final decision about its height. I think I can live with that. What do you guys think? Think that's good enough? Now that uh, Sick and Hunter are gone, <laughs> do you have any more, any more votes for Taller? Miss the door? There it is. Because there was no door. Alright, let's finish this up. Oh, let me grab some... I'm going to need some ceilings and some roofs. So this is where you stand in for your tribe mates and say, Taller, taller. <laughs> All right, so Oni says, taller, taller. I need a bunch of those. I can still move. It's pretty tall. <laughs> That's good loyalty there. Good loyalty. But well, I think I'm good with it anymore. And your mind's just going to keep toppling it. Like that couldn't stand up. It should fall down. And then also I wouldn't finish it in the time I have left in the stream. Although that should not be the deciding factor for the height of it.
So I could possibly have to go harvest some more mats. But I think it's good, actually. I think it's good now. It's tall enough to be ridiculous. But not so tall to be too ridiculous, right? <laughs> Legitimate excuse. Okay, so now we got to fill this in. If this is truly going to be as high as it goes. You could definitely glide to all these parts. Those parts, you may not be able to get to the top of that ridge. Maybe you could. Might just be a trick of the distance that it doesn't look much shorter. Well, it's pretty tall up there. It could be pretty close. You can definitely get down to there. That's a strategic point. You could probably get to that rock over there. That's pretty strategic. <coughs> I don't know. Now that I'm, I'm reluctant to stop going up. But I, I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's see. So now we're just going to do that. That. Zip lines. Yeah, zip lines would be a good way to go. I forget about zip lines. Get under there. Yep. Yeah, you could zip line all over the place. There's a limit, you know, to how far you can set a zip line, I'm sure. I know. Like, you couldn't zip line from here to there. That'd just be too long. You might be able to get from here to there, although that's, that's still pushing it. So, let me see. That's got to fill in. We'll see. If a Raleigh comes on and vetoes it, we'll have to make it taller. That might pop off when I pick this up. No, it didn't. Okay. All right. So, we need to go out. One... Woo! From here, it seems ridiculous. <laughs> That's nuts. Okay. Doesn't seem as ridiculous from below, though. Uh, so that... We'll have this one... Be the square. Yeah. And it's going to get a little taller still now, too. It's not done. This will be these. Get in there. You can do it. There you go. And I need to get some more of those. I need a little box up here to leave parts in. I should actually... Before I do that, use up these. So up here, how do I want to do this? Let's, I just have to figure out how I want to design this one i mean the straightforward design of the other ones i just have walls coming up from here up at this height i don't have to worry about people grappling and they can't climbing pick because of the roofs hanging out so if we have walls at that height I think they could just safely all be doors. Is 
is why wouldn't you want to just be able to see out? It's supposed to be an observation tower. I think. I may change my mind. I often do. Um, and then following the design of below. That would be like that. And then, let's see, we need the half wall. And then if I was going to do it any differently than below, then we'd come in and make it like a little pointy, pointy tip. So it has that feeling of like closure and coming together at the top. And then when from here, we could put, we could step out and we'll have like a little balcony outside all the way around. I'm just making this up as I go. Well, let's see. Let's see what we think. I should bring a box up with me. I definitely need a zip line from like the middle straight down to this little pointy bit right here so you can just zip right down kind of fire pole it let's see if i can do a box Let's leave that there. And then we needed these. We're going to need more roofs, though. Yeah, let's go. We're going to be good on walls. We may need, we're going to need probably some more, a few more ceilings and a good number more roofs. So let's go get those so we can finish up. Yeah, let's get some light for you guys as it's getting dark. Ooh. Okay, so if I was going to make a roof, what am I missing? Nothing. Still going to need more. I need stone. Ooh, we're running out. That's the last of my stone. Well, actually not. I've got another thousand. When there's nothing in the folder, it won't go back in. Put that back in there for now. And the roof. Now it's making 66. That should be good. Um, we were going to need a little bit more ceilings. So, looks like uh, a fiber might be the limiter. Let's get some fiber. Get some metal for good measure. Ooh, that's all the metal. Let's leave 500. Make some ceilings now. We can. Twenty-seven. All right, let's haul those up while we're waiting. Let's see if I have anything else in here. Oh, I've got some ceilings here. be funny if I built this tower so tall that you couldn't even get a zip line from it down to itself or down to the ground. All right, 
let's take the long walk up. I definitely want to make rails all the way up. I think I may cheap out and not put the core walls all the way up the middle. That would make it more um, uh, claustrophobic anyway. You wouldn't be able to admire the whole little spiral. But railings would be a nice touch. Okay. So, let me see. Yeah, those are the squares. Triangles. So we'll see how this goes. I'm just uh, making this up off the cuff, so I may hate it. But conceptually, it makes sense to me right now. The trick to getting walls to place the way you want is placing them before you put other pieces that give them choices doing that before I get the uh, get the the floors on inside here and then I want these Okay, and then what would happen is it would come back in. I'm out of those. And then we should probably put a level floor all the way across in here. Um, but first... I'm going to experiment with, use the ceilings I have for the balcony bit and see how we feel about that shape. about the balcony is it does limit your ability to look down a little bit not too bad and there's always K mode what do we think about that guys it doesn't have the full effect yet because the um, the we don't have the roof pieces yet they should be crafting at the moment we'll uh, make them point all the way I like being able to get out here. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about the little balcony. It could it could do without it. What do you think? Balcony or no balcony? Uh, considering that there's going to be there's going to be a um, floor inside here. All right, now I'm out of pieces. Those ones are wrong. Well, you know, and I didn't pay attention to that when I was putting these down. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix those as well so that the lines are right on the outside. If they're gonna be here, they all gotta point out. If 
Balcony or no balcony? I'm gonna leave it up to you all. Let me know. Oh yeah, we're gonna drop a box up here. So I stop hauling the same pieces back up and down. I don't have a legit place to put the box at the moment. Let's stick it here temporarily. Check what I have left in this one. A little bit. <laughs> I don't think I need any more walls. Yeah, I agree, Ladybugs. I I think I like the idea of the balcony, but it definitely doesn't look as good. Especially from way below, it'll kind of affect the um, the whole look of it from down there. Fill this in. Take it off for the moment. We can change our minds and put it back. A little bit of vertigo taking it off out here. Tell you that. Woo! That's scary. Oh, that's the doorway. We don't want to do that. Okay. And then let's keep going with this. Number three. Drink. Let's do it again. I need a way up from down there. We will airlock this one time, so we'll do that. And then um, let's grab one of these. See which way it opens. Cool, that works for me to do. Then doom. where'd you go? There's an extra triangle ceiling down here somewhere now. <laughs> Found it. And 
not quite have enough. But there's more being made down there. But we can um, put some more of these up. And then we'll start to get an idea what this is going to look like. And I'm getting vitamin deficiencies. Do a little overeating. Keep our vitamins balanced. Okay, and then to meet in the middle, I think. I think it has to all be triangles. at that point. Yeah. I think that's it. Can we see what that looks like out there? Yeah, it looks right. And it's going to come together in a little uh, six triangle point in the very middle. Okay. Uh, so we need just four more ceilings and a whole bunch more roofs. Let's go ahead and take this stuff down with us. We are nearly done. Nearly there. Let's see, let's go all the way down. second guys I'm just checking a text make sure it's not my son all right all good so we need four of those and a bunch of these just take them all still move yeah, and we don't probably don't need all of those, so let's leave enough to move a little faster. Can I show you the outside? Uh, yeah, I can. Let's take a look out there real quick. Here, let me uh, remind me to get those back. Okay, we'll go out here. Not the best lighting at the moment. But this is the thing. Some multi-layered, honeycombed, little PvP castle based thing. It's got cannons peeking out right there. Um, let see. Right there, it got cannons there five towers um, lots of layers of protection thousands of pieces in it let's go over here in the sunshine a little bit that's the whole thing and it's got a big um, kind of shaped like an arrow but some walls are higher than another it's got a big pen in the back with double gates um, and those roofs slanted out keep people from able to climb and pick over it. I got to finish that one little gap right there. Um, but yeah, it's uh, the idea was having a strong fortified base that opens immediately onto 
these dry docks so we can build chips right out of it and then having the animals be able to access it um, as directly as possible and be as close to the resources as possible to get that stuff in here and build ships and weapons and stuff. So, yeah. Is Atlas better than Ark? It's different. They both have things they offer. And having played 4,000 hours of Ark, I'm now enjoying uh, something a little different, but still very familiar. Right on. Thank you, Duck. I don't want to say your name because I don't want to insult you. <laughs> but thank you, Duck. I appreciate that. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, I do crazy building stuff all the time. That's one of my things. And they definitely made some improvements on the building system in here. This is where you access those cannons there. They're in here, and you can get in here and shoot. Whee! In case we get invaded. Whoa! And some of them have that issue where they glitch you outside. We were just going through and testing that. Last time that one was okay. <laughs> Outlast? Outlast? Atlas at last? This is my buddy Arali. Sleeping over there. He's a worthy subscribe too. Alright, what's this coming over here to close the doors? Keeping everything safe. Yeah, I think you'll definitely get some content out of it. And it's pretty fun. The trick is figuring out where to play. You have your trick, uh, your choice between official and a whole mess of different unofficial private servers. We played official for a good while. And when we couldn't keep up the pace anymore, we uh, started our own private server here. And folks who become um, patrons to uh, Raleigh and I um, can join. All right, we're trying to finish up the top bit here. Oh, oh, good, I got them. I almost thought I forgot the roofs, but I didn't. Okay, so we can fill in the hole so I don't fall through because... That's something I'm likely to do. Boink. Okay. And then let's finish this up. Close the door. Oh, thanks, duck. I really appreciate that. Do my best. I um, have to balance it with a very busy real life. I still manage to get a bunch of gaming in there. Never as much as I'd really like for the channel to be what I could imagine it being, but that's kind of like how it is with all my projects. Mortality gets in the way. And so, do a lot of cool things, but None of them ever get to the place I'd really like to get them. But I guess the good side of that is you always have a head full of ideas at that point. If you don't use up all your ideas, then you don't run out. Uh-oh. Last piece of the point. All right, let's see if it lets me look out without doing the crotch shot. Ooh, okay, there it is. What do you guys think? I get a little bit of crotch shot there. 
Um, I think that works. I should have brought a glider with me so I could just jump out at this point. Yay! <laughs> That's right. We did it. We capped it off. There's a few little details down below to deal with. Um, this is in the wrong place. I didn't need this very long. Let's go ahead and demolish this. And let's go ahead and take a look from down below. Let's see what we think of that. Next week, paint. <laughs> I don't think so. I'd have to climbing pick all over the dang thing. I'd run out of so many climbing picks and fall so many times. I think this one's going to be on natural. Going for the earth tones. Whoop. Wow. Okay. I think that works. I think that works. Let's take the jump. Check it out. See what it looks like from the various distances. Can't really see the point on the top. Kind of shrinks away from you. I guess as you first come in, you'd be able to. Yeah, you can see it there. The Holland Oats. <laughs> our Holland Brig. Let's take a look from here. This is the angle people coming into our harbor would see it from as the cannonballs rain down on them. They'd be on this, trying to shoot it. While we shot back from the mortars, they're going to be right up top there. Yeah, I think that's good. I, I'm actually glad I didn't go any higher. Since I can't, like, do it in stages as much. As skinny as the middle is, um, yeah, I don't think that would be good. I would like the the base to have tapered up a little bit more, but I think that's how I have to do it. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Sweet. Yes. Awesome. Cracker says, cool. Yeah. All right, folks. Well, we pulled it off. We got it done. I'll finish the other little details off camera. I have to go on a voyage and go get some salt and crystal so I can make some mortar shot for the mortars on the top. Um, but yeah, there it is. There is our PvP base. And now with that done, I can get on to playing the rest of the game. <laughs> All this other content that's in here that I've been completely ignoring in my own little world as I harvest and build and harvest and build and harvest and build and well, harvest, craft, build, harvest, craft, build, etc. Um, yeah. So this Sunday, I'm going to stream the epic battle between all the different companies on the map. Well, as many as can make it on Sunday anyway. It won't be the last time we do it because not everybody can make it then. But definitely make sure to stay tuned to join us on Sunday. Um, it's going to be... What were the times, Crackers? It's going to be 3 p.m. EST, 8 p.m. GMT. And the time that matters is 6 p.m. Uh, PST, which is my time. Yes, I got to start making the schooner. So I can get ready to blow you all up. I got to go get some NPCs and do all that kind of stuff. That's going to keep me from playing too much Satisfactory this week, which I could easily do. Because uh, we've got a mission. A mission. Yeah, so what's happening is that um, Crackers uh, organized this. And there is a, a list of... Um, uh, uh, rules basically. I mean, or it's basically a, a materials list of like 
so that everybody is playing with the same thing. So at least the same amount of cannons, the same amount of ammo. Uh, none of the ships can be done with blueprints um, and so on. So that we're all on pretty equal field, of course, except for skill, of course, and strategy and all of these other things that, um, but yeah, we'll have basically the same kind of ship and the same amount of guns and stuff. And, you know, you can put them on the ship where you want, but, and then every one of the companies entering, they can en enter up to two ships. I'm the only one from my company that's going to be able to make it. So I can only sail one ship at a time. I can barely do that. So every company puts in 500 gold and the last ship floating takes all the gold. So, uh, yeah, it's 6 p.m. my time. Pretty sure. Oh, no. Did I get that wrong? Oh, I got that wrong. Oh, I can't make it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that's noon my time that's not that's not the first time i've done that i did the math backwards it's noon my time i was wondering how i was able to do it at six and and uh emma was still awake dang it huh i'll have to see sunday is a busy day here my project oh no oh no yeah, I did the math backwards. I added the three instead of uh, subtracting it. So that's noon my time. I actually would have been better in the earlier times. <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> Oops. Um. Yeah, I don't know if I can finagle out of work then. I will have to see what I can do, but... um. Dang it. Yeah. Yeah, the wind wolves might be completely absent. All right, folks, <laughs> that's a little bit of a, uh, a little downer at the end there. All right. Um, okay, well, we'll figure that out. If uh, I am able to stream it, I will schedule it. Otherwise, we're going to have to schedule another one very soon thereafter. As I work weekends, Mondays and Tuesdays are my day offs at the moment. Um Yeah. Oh, it made you panic because I had the time wrong. Yeah, for you guys. So, I don't know. I'll see what I can do. Maybe, yeah, I could do it. I work at 11. I forget the times you had up there before. I don't want to change it all for me, of course. And most of the people could make it later on anyway. I'm going to see if I can get someone to cover me. How long do you think it's going to take, Crackers? Uh, probably at least a couple hours, right? So I might, if I can get someone to, uh, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is done. I'm going to make a schooner regardless whether or not I get to fight it on Sunday. I'm going to get ready for sinking ships. Maybe I'll just go out there now and sink everybody's ship. <laughs> um, but thank you for joining me tonight and uh, being hanging out with me while we finish this build. And this is done. There's going to be plenty more ship sinking in the future. Crackers is just trying to set the tone um, for what we should be doing. And so we're going to be doing it, just kicking us all in the butts to be pirates. Anyway, again, thank you for watching till the end of this stream. And I will see you all in the next one, whenever that may be. It's not going to be too long. All right, y'all. Bye-bye.